So what is going on guys, Nandervis93 here with another video and today we're going to go over a new iPadOS app and iPadOS widget that I'm absolutely in love with and it's just a great utility to have. You guys know I'm all about iPad Pro utilities. So the name of this app is just called Authenticator and I'm going to link it below guys but let's get into this video review. So guys, like I mentioned, today we're going to go over this widget that I have right here. As you guys can see, there is a timer on it, there is that six digit authentication code. So if you guys haven't seen the title of the video, this is my new authenticator application of choice. And moving forward, unless somebody else gives me something with better UI and a better live real time widget. but. Just to give you guys a little bit of background on the app itself, let me actually remove this widget to kind of show you guys how the installation process works. So this is the app itself. It's called the Authenticator app. I want to use Face ID for it to authenticate me so I don't have to type in a password every single time. But as you guys can see, I've only been using one as a test because this video is basically me saying that I've decided to move it over from the regular Microsoft Authenticator app that I have. And for right now, I was just testing it with my LinkedIn account. So the, the general premise is very simple. It's using this as your authenticator app for 2FA and I'm a big advocate for dual factor authentication especially in the times that we live in guys make sure you have a good password make sure if it's something important like financial records or something that you use for work like LinkedIn make sure you have 2FA set up to make sure you're as secure as possible I'm looking into the YubiKey I see that they're making a push with a lot of creators but knowing me I lose little things like that and even if it's just on a keychain it would be a little inconvenient but that's the price you pay for this convenience of security. But something like YubiKey can also be something that you could use for 2FA, but I like this route because it's the perfect balance between convenience and security in my opinion. But just to show you guys how it, how it works, this is the Authenticator app. There you go with Face ID. And all you have to do to add a new you know, login or account is you press this little plus sign over here, you scan the QR code, and you're good to go. You fill in whatever necessary information you need to put in. I believe, depending on what website you use for the 2FA, it'll tell you to put in that two-factor authentication right away, and then, then it'll authenticate it, and then it'll start running. But as you guys can see, the one that I have right now is LinkedIn, and the UI is good. The UI is perfect, it's simple, it's to the point. The iPhone app is exactly the same. It runs on iOS 14 because of the widgets. And just to kind of walk you guys through the settings, as you saw, I'm a premium member, so what you get is unlimited accounts, unlimited backups, synchronization, and ad-free. And that's the $4.99 for yearly subscription. But you guys should definitely test it out, especially as the free option, because the free option gives you everything that you would need as a dual factor authentication. And like, it even gives you the widgets and an Apple Watch widget, which I haven't even tested out quite yet, guys, because I've been in the iPad OS space, and that's how I've been working with my 2FA. But it's very, very simple. So let's actually add the Authenticator app to the widget screen itself. So you add it just like any other widget, as you can see, it's right. It's one of the first ones right here. You click on it, you can have the small one or the large one. I like to have the larger one just because I like it to, to be really in my face. I'm gonna bring it up one just so it's, again, open to me. And then as you guys can see, it's blank. There's nothing there right now because what you have to do is you have to long press, edit the widget, not the home screen, choose one of the accounts, choose my LinkedIn one here, all good to go, and there it is, guys. So there is my real-time 2FA six-digit authenticator code, and it's continuously synced to LinkedIn. So if I actually want to test it out, I head over to Safari, go to LinkedIn.com, log myself in, and then you can see that it asks for the 2FA. So all I have to do is I can either look right here, so wait for it to refresh, so 741-528, type it in here, 741-528, or like you guys saw earlier, you can just click on the inside of the Authenticator app and copy it down. But there it is, I'm into LinkedIn, all fine and dandy. So that is the premise of the Authenticator app. It's a very simple utility, but it's just nice that it's in your face, the UI is beautiful, and like I said, I'm all about supporting smaller developers in their, in their way to creating a larger app for a larger audience. So if you guys wanna support the developer, like I said, it's that $5 mark for the yearly subscription. But let's get out of this view and go to the normal view, guys. So that's gonna do it for this video. Like I mentioned, I love working with smaller developers like this because they really take my feedback into consideration and your guys' feedback whenever you use it. So also, like I mentioned, it is a free app for the most part. There is a yearly paid subscription, which allows you to synchronize across all your devices. It allows you to run ad-free, also adds some cloud backup services to you as well. But if you wanna use it as a standalone, then the free app is sufficient enough. And I recommend just downloading it, giving it a try and giving feedback because these developers just work off of our feedback and I love being able to showcase these and kind of giving them a place to actually talk about their applications. And so far I absolutely love this app. It does exactly what I need it to do. It gives me my 2FA at a glance. So I absolutely love it and hopefully you guys do too. Let me know in the comments below if you gave it a download, gave it a shot, and what other 
improvements you would make on the app itself because we can always get the developer on the channel to kind of talk about it a little bit further, guys. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if you guys have other widgets or other applications you want me to go over to test out that maybe not a lot of people have seen, let me know and put them in the comments. I'd be more than happy to try them out because I'm always looking for new applications, guys. But until next time, peace.